Yeah, I've got modifications on this one too. Big Sexy did it back when he had this lip. He put those extensions on both sides of it. Yeah, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call Stonewall tomorrow. I'm gonna send him a video of his bike running with the pipe on it. He don't even know I did all this. He was doing this work. But he'd been bullshitting for three or four days about going to get them gaskets to come and finish his bike up. So I thought, well, I'll just do it for him, you know. And, of uh, course, like I said, no good deed goes unpunished. So I'm hoping <clears throat> he'll be excited enough that uh, I finished working on it for him that uh, he won't freak out too bad about that lid. But thank God my painter is also in our chapter. So all we got to do is probably order a couple ounces of paint and Glenn can dress it up. It may not completely go away, but Glenn can make it. <laughs> God damn, look at there, my fucking shovel just fell over. Fuck! I'm done with this fucking shop. I'm going in tonight, bro. I've had all I fucking take. I'm about ready to get my goddamn AK out and just shoot this whole motherfucker up. <laughs>
of these limbs clotheslines me. Oh, I love the suspension travel. Alright, let me take the street back. times in the past few years. I don't need to tell my boss I'm hurt again. See if she still idles pretty good. Let's see if the idle's a little too low. Let's well, see. Yeah, the idle's a little too low. So I'm gonna have to adjust that. But so far I'm happy with it. I just don't know how to ride it yet. I'm scared. Alright. All right, welcome back YouTube. Slick here in Slickhead Garages. Once again, I had no intentions on filming tonight. I took my flathead out for a ride right after work to clear my head. It's a rough day. Took her out for a ride and stopped at my local bar in town and bumped into two old gray beards who I am friends with and have road bikes with, town local bikers for many, many years. And one of them came right up to me and said, hey man, will you fix my two old bikes for me? And I couldn't say fuck yeah fast enough. So I'll insert the pictures here, what he wants me to work on. He wants his pan head done first because he says that's his baby. So I said, okay, you're the boss. Whichever one you want first is the one you're getting. All right, so that means, and I got to apologize to my buddy Hippie. He's been dying for some Triumph content. So I had the Triumph up on the rack. I had to do the usual, clean the plugs, clean the jets and take her for a ride. I was also going to pull the wheel off, the front wheel off. I've never had this front wheel off the bike to know what the brakes look like in here. It's missing a couple pieces and obviously the cable and a lever. I want to get this back in working order because the bike doesn't stop very well. Might as well have the front brakes. Yeah, I know. Choppers with front brakes aren't cool. Me and Hippie say that all the time. But in this case, I don't want to die. So I want to look into getting this all working again. I'll take it apart with you guys. We'll both learn for the first time. Because, again, I don't know Triumphs very well. I've learned a lot because I've had to work on this bike quite a bit. So I've got to learn it. I got manuals. I bought the Triumph tools because you need special tools. I've done a, quite a few projects on this bike, like wired in a um, capacitor to keep the magneto brighter. Uh, I broke the uh, kicker spring. Uh, I think like the second week I had her, it almost broke my leg when it 
kicked and went straight down to the ground and hyperextended my knee. So a uh, $10 part, little kicker spring. So it was so hard to find. No one had it. Finally find a guy out in Pittsburgh that had it. Pulled it out of one of his motors he had sitting in his shop. Sold me a used one. I had to take apart the uh, transmission cover, take apart all that shit, and put the uh, new kicker spring in. So I've done quite a few things on here. I've done the rear... Uh, uh brake shoes i did a whole new brake drum you know been a these carburetors have been apart many a times and as i said in older videos th this aluminum coating on these mccoonies are flaking apart uh and they're getting clogged up in my jets every time i ride i need to get new carburetors get some new mccoonies get some aftermarket knockoff mccoonies i don't care i'd love to go back to the original carburetors to try and use uh amyl or a maw i don't know how you pronounce it anal whatever you want to say but i'd love to go back to those but i don't know much about them i know these mccoonies are cheap i could even get two new ones probably for two for the price of like three hundred dollars um so i need to get some new carbs i could get the amazon knockoffs and they would work just fine you know again i tell you i tell you this all the time I didn't build this bike, so it's not my favorite bike. I don't like the color. Purple is not my color. Um, it Triumphs are, by nature, a smaller bike. And when you make a chopper out of them, they're a small mini chopper. I'm a six foot three big bird, and I look kind of weird on it. Still love it, still love the ride, still think it's cool. But again, I've told you in the past, I want to take this motor out and put it in a a frame that I'm going to chop and stretch and make it a bigger chopper for me. Um, so I look halfway decent riding it. So that's the plan for this bike. I do love the Magneto on the Triumph. Not having to have a battery is so nice. The Joe Hunt Magneto. Um, the story with this tank, why it's not the same color. So I have the original tank that matches this color in my other garage. Um, one of my pet cocks was leaking and I bought a new pet cock. I guess I over tightened it and it broke the tank liner of the original tank. It broke the liner and now was leaking out of the bung in the old tank. So the only way you can fix that is you, you, you could reline the tank, but first you've got to strip the tank of the old liner. I tried. I tried using aircraft stripper, paint stripper, and it just made things worse. The chemical that strips out liner is really good. Uh, the company wouldn't sell it to me because it's a highly toxic chemical and you had to be like some kind of dealer or uh, some type of business. So, I could never get that. So, you know what? I said, screw it. And I just bought this same tank over again for like 150 bucks. And then I spray painted it with a can and clear coat it. And that's the best purple I could come up with. So, sorry, hippie. You're not going to get any content on the Triumph because I'm bringing uh, the customers two old bikes a 45 inch flathead forget what year and a 64 pan head so that's going to take priority but so no content on the triumph just yet hippie all right i will talk to you guys tomorrow when i go pick up this pan head she ran great tonight by the way